hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is melissa so if it is your first time watching one of my videos you are most definitely welcome and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button down below and click on the notification as well to be notified whenever i will upload a video so as you can see by the title of this video i'm going to tell you guys about this situation this story or situation that i heard like a few days ago and i feel i feel like i need to talk about it I feel like maybe there are one or two people out there that are going through the same situation and they don't know what to do so if you're watching this video and situation comment down below as well and maybe if you need help if you want to talk to someone contact me as well I will leave my Instagram and my snapchat down below so yeah the story is all about this girl that came to the abroad that came to europe with her boyfriend like from africa they didn't have enough money but they did all what they could do because they wanted a better life so they came to europe and they didn't have enough money as well so they started working and things started going a little bit good for them they got money and they decided to get married like after some some years the girl got pregnant for her first child and the relationship was still going good everything was good they were happy until the until the girl met one girl she's really really happy to have at least like someone that she can she could call her own like her best friend or her friend or her, like her close friend and everything was good she had her second child and her body started misbehaving <laughs> her body started misbehaving and her boy her and her husband started misbehaving as well he was talking to her anyhow like he was disrespecting her they were like they were not in good terms and she was really really sad because when she was when she was thinking about everything that she went through in africa and they came here and the guy is misbehaving he's like cheating on her and she don't know what to do she turned to her best friend she was always talking to her best friend that like she don't understand why her husband is misbehaving she don't understand why her husband is talking to her anyhow she don't understand she don't understand and uh, and she was complaining all the time to her best friend so her friend advised her to go and meet a a pastor that she should start praying and that if she needs help she can help as well like in prayers and everything so they started praying they started fasting and everything but nothing was really going go good for her like the thing it was like her situation or, her, or like her relationship was going bad and bad every single day she was angry she was crying when she was looking at her kids she didn't know what to do like she was always talking to her friend like and her friend was always advising her like well if he's misbehaving misbehave too if he's disrespecting you dis disrespect you disrespect disrespect him as well anything that he will do do it as well because if you do it he was he, if you disrespect him he's going to dis, he's going to stop disrespecting you as well like all this kind of crazy stuffs and she was really sad the, her friend advised her to go to a native doctor if the prayers were not satisfying her she she need to go and see a native doctor maybe the doc, the native doctor could give her some advice like things to do and everything so they went to see a native doctor i know some of, some of you will be like in europe there's no native doctor please please there's native doctor in, in europe there's native native doctor in africa there's everywhere there's native doc these people when they want to scam you <laughs> they are they are learned they're, they're going to go beyond scamming so they went to see a native doctor and he advised like first of all he wanted money you know so they gave him money and uh, 
head so he they thought that meeting a native doctor will resolve the solution but everything started falling apart like the girl didn't understand what was happening so she called africa she explained but nothing could could be done because they are not in africa even though they have parents will call the guy like what's up or like what's happening nothing was going on as she expected so one day <clears throat> The guy received a call and he was not around. She she did not pick up the call, but the name seemed so familiar to, to her. So she didn't answer, she didn't pick up the call. And like when she didn't pick up the call, she just the, the person calling sent him a message like hi babe, what's up? So she, of course it's her husband. She had the password to the phone. She gets into the phone like and she got the girl's phone number and she called like on private she called like asking like who are you who is this person to you and the girl said everything the guy is the guy is my this is my guy like we are together since and the the girl the girl was so embarrassed like the girl was so shocked to know that her husband they suffered they came to europe the guy is cheating on her just because her body is she like she tried to go to the gym she tried everything she could do but the guy was cheating on her so she went to her best friend she explained that okay uh, this is the number of the person that i think my husband is cheating on me with and the best friend helped her to do her to do the research on instagram on facebook on all the social the social media but they didn't see the person so the girl now decided to do the, the research herself at the end of the day at the end of the day the best friend was the girl the husband was cheating on with like i was just like are you for real like your best friend someone you called your best friend could do such things to you and anytime that you were having problem with your husband you always went to her and she was just there listening to you knowing fully that she's the one hurting you like how can people be so mean how like now at this like you don't know who is who how can your best friend do that to you like she looks at you in the eye see you crying and she's still cheating like she's still doing what she's doing like this is insane like this is mad this is not good guys so if you know that you're going through this kind of situation <coughs> girl girl trust no one okay it doesn't matter if it's your sister your auntie your cousin your best friend your whatsoever trust no one but smile with everyone smile with everyone but trust no one because you never know who is who you understand so please be careful with who you call your friends Full be careful be careful in your relationship be careful be careful girls of nowadays they are up and down they are running looking for dig they are running looking for dig because they see in your man the potential man they cannot afford to have so what so what are, what are they going to do of course snatch the man away from you so be careful do not expose your relationship outside to strangers even though hmm, it is best friend you never know so take this advice from somebody you follow or somebody you subscribed on youtube so guys thank you guys for watching and uh, i hope this situation will teach you a lesson and subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video bye guys